Okay, so th there is a reality TV show on TLC called Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. Um, and I'm going to use this show as an example to illustrate a point. Okay, so now there's a, on the TV show, it's, it's centered around this girl named Honey Boo Boo, who was, I think she was on a, a child beauty pageant, another reality show, and this is a spinoff. So her family is a, is a working class type family. Her father is a chalk miner. Her mother is a stay at home mother. Her mother, June Shannon, she's a stay at home mother. Then she has three older sisters. Um, 12 year old Lauren Shannon, 15 year old Jessica Shannon, and 17 year old Anna Shannon. Okay, now, in the TV show, Anna Shannon has a daughter, she gets pregnant and has a daughter. So let, let's just use this as an example. Let's say that there was a, um, there was a white guy who tried to talk to the teen dot to um, Anna Shannon, who was the one who got pregnant. Let's say he was he went to high school with her, and he tried to talk to her. He he, he was um, attracted to her, and he tried to um, talk to her, but she wasn't interested in him because he didn't hang out with the cool, po the popular hick gang in the school, and he didn't drive a tricked out tractor. So she rejected him. She was mean to him and rejected him. And instead she went and had sex with some other guy, some other redneck, and, and um, got pregnant by him. Now, fast forward 20 years. And now let's say this, same, this Anna Shannon girl, now she has three more children. And she starts looking like her mother. So on the reality show, the mother, June Shannon, is obese, all right, and her, some of her, well, and Anna Shannon is fairly slim still, but let's say 20 years from now, she's fat, obese, and has three kids, and the fathers of the children are nowhere to be found, okay, but the white guy that she rejected before, he started, he, he started traveling, he went to Thailand, he started meeting these 18 year old sexy 19, 20, 21 year old girls in Thailand who were having sex with him, treating him like a king. Now, do you think that this white guy should be wasting his time and his money on that used up, leftover, no longer physically attractive, fat chick who didn't, fat chick with three bastards who didn't give him the time of day when she was young. I say hell no. And the same thing applies to men of all other races. So why should a black man talk to uh, a black woman who didn't talk, didn't give him the time of day when she was young and attractive, but then when she's old and used up and has a bunch of bastard kids, then she's ready to talk to him. Or then she's ta she acts like he has some type of obligation to her. Or why should a Jewish man talk to some Jewish girl who didn't give him the time of day when she was young and attractive, but when she, if she's used up and has a bunch of kids from other men, then she's ready to talk to him. And why should a same thing goes for Chinese men and Korean men and Arab men and um, East Indian men and all types of men, Italian men and etc etc African men Jamaican men all kinds of so it goes for every every type of man why should why should um if they didn't if a girl didn't give them the time of day when they were young then in my opinion they have a right to it makes sense for them if they if they want to go to Thailand and meet a woman they could do that if they want to go to Ukraine if they want to go to Australia if they want to go to um Britain, France, South America, um, Guatemala, they could go anywhere they want. If, if they want to date a different woman, younger woman, whatever. They don't have any obligation to these women who didn't talk to them before. That's the way I see it. That, some of these women, when they get old and used up, then they're disgruntled if men don't pay attention to them anymore. But that's really their problem.